This is a quick analysis of Sing Song by Daljit Nagra. In this video you will see some of the techniques used and you will see how you might write about them using quotes and technical terminology. The poem is structured to set the scene at the beginning, revealing the location, the speaker's position and his ethnicity. The anaphora where two lines begin with the same words, shows the closeness of the newlyweds. The poem is structured to establish context in the opening quatrain. The reader learns that the speaker is of Punjabi heritage and that he is made not to have a break in just one of his daddy's shops. We quickly learn that the speaker is newly married and neglects his duties to spend time with his bride. The use of anaphora in V share shows the closeness of the newlyweds and reveals the speaker's priorities in a humorous and light-hearted way. The square brackets show that I have changed the quote to make it fit within my sentence. There is tone established here. There is a humorous lack of professionalism there is dialogue from the customers which reinforces the speaker's priorities and there is hyperbole or exaggeration which adds further reinforcement. Details such as vid my pinny untied add a humorous lack of professionalism which the reader can sympathise with. This is then shown from the perspective of the customers who list his failings with alliteration and repetition to prove where his priorities lie. The hyperbole of the versed Indian shop on the whole Indian road adds further reinforcement and characterization. The alliteration here with the h huh sound shows the Western influence on the couple and it shows the bride's femininity and sexuality. The cat and mouse metaphor shows power and independence. The wife is shown to be powerful and alluring. She is above the speaker who uses alliteration with head, high, heel to show the temptation of running upstairs to join her. The use of the witty metaphor with the mouse when she netting two cat reveals her power and independence. She runs her own business and manipulates others on her Sikh lover site. Here we have a refrain with my bride repeated at the beginning of consecutive stanzas. This shows pride, love and how he dislikes his parents. It also shows the combination of cultures. The poet repeats my bride in a positive refrain which shows his pride through the possessive pronoun my. He appreciates the terrible way she treats his parents as he dislikes them and he loves her for her contradictions illustrated with the similes tiny eyes of a gun and the tummy of a teddy and the clashing image of a tartan sari. Here the poem is structured to make a contrast between the newly married bliss and the annoyance of the customers. The repeated structure of complaints builds a humorous image of failure. The poem is structured to show the contrast between the newly married bliss of the tickle of my bride with the annoyance of the customers whose complaints follow a repeated structure and pattern of hyperbole to build a humorous image of failure. Now there is the turn or the change in the poem. We have the direct address in red, which is accusatory, the S sounds, so the sibilance in green, which is soothing, the personification, 
shows how the shop has a life of its own, and the idiolect shows a clash of cultures, the idiolect being the speaker's own distinct voice. The turn in the poem comes when the customers have left and the tone becomes calm and peaceful. The direct address of you shoppers is accusatory. We are intruding on his happiness. The sibilance of sit on my silver stool is soothing and shows how the couple are happy when they are together, despite the personified whispering shop which takes so much of their energy. The idiolect shown with of the UK in the brighty moon shows the difficulty of an immigrant's life and how solace can be found in love. The poem ends with dialogue, speaking. The couple have everything they need in one another. The two lovers have everything they need in one another and the touching dialogue at the end of the poem reveals that their relationship is more valuable than anything that can be bought, or even the moon itself. The affectionate diminutive baby is repeated to end the poem on the positive priceless nature of their love. If you are interested in personalised tuition for AQA English Language or Literature, please visit the website shown on screen. And thank you for watching.